welcome back, man. Episode 44 of Brick Shots with Billy Antonio. Uh, hey, man, it's bowl season, fellas. Uh, getting ready for the college football playoff in a couple days. How are we feeling, Aaron? Good to have you back, finally. Oh, we're doing. Um, I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. Part of me is like, part of me is like, something feels different, I guess. But I also know that it's Georgia, and they come to play in prime time. Yeah. Every single time they play. That's why they line up and and play the game. I guess we'll see. That's true, Matt. You're probably pretty stoked with the line that we just that just got released for Michigan uh, TCU. Hey, I'll take eight and a half. That's fair. Yeah, I like right. it. Tony, it's gonna be more than that. It's gonna be more than that. That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points for a playoff. They and Max Duggan wrong. doesn't quit, bro. Max Duggan never quits. That's true. Tony, how do you feel about the Red Raiders versus the Rebels tonight, man? No, miss by thirty. <laughs> okay. Again, dude, this is this is we got the film on you now. So UGA Ohio State, I feel like everyone's going UGA except for old Buckeye right there. O H baby. Okay. And then Michigan. I'm taking Michigan also. I think we're all taking Michigan. Kinda everybody's just kinda TCU's that underdog story. Blah blah blah. I mean, I want TCU to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. But I'm sure you do. <laughs> I do want TCU to win. Not that not because I'm yeah. worried about playing you guys again. I'm I don't want you to ever make uh, a national championship. Ever. Yeah, well it's happening. I'll be there. I'd rather watch you guys fail. <sighs> All right, man. So the NFL here. season's kind of winding down. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the playoffs. Are y'all worried? Because I know the Bengals. That would scare me in the playoffs, having to play the Bengals. They're coming in hot. They're playing very well. Joe Burrow looks like an MVP if he wasn't fucking around for the first couple weeks. Yeah, but Josh Allen has one more interception than him and two less touchdowns. Yeah, but Josh Allen has the running numbers. I. I get that, but Joe Burrow can scamper if he needs to. Yeah, but scampering and being the leading rusher on your team is different. That's yeah. not good. You don't want your quarterback For him to, to win MVP. Is. Yeah, Lamar Jackson led the league in rushing and won the MVP. So. I have a whole thing about Lamar Jackson. We'll get to that. Okay. But, uh, but I do want to talk Jags-Lions. Tonio, if I told you today – that your team had to play the Jags or the Lions, who would you not want to play? It's the Jags and the Lions. I'll play either one of them. <laughs> I don't care about them win. No suck. The Lions are playing probably the best football in the league right now, I think. And then the Jaguars are a second. Second to them. Well, if we could stop the run, we if we could stop the run, we'd be we have the record to show for it, but we just got what, 320 yards ran on us versus the yeah. Panthers. A couple of backups did that, so Damn, that's not a good look. Though. But I'm with you. It seems like the Panthers are doing better after that McCaffrey trade, which is just bonkers to me. Yeah. But there is the, the battle so of the t- – A couple of weeks ago, there was the, the battle of teams you don't want to play in the playoffs, and the Lions stomped the shit out of the Jaguars, so – that is true, though, yeah. Put up a 40-burger. Yeah, but then they came back and beat the Cowboys. So, I mean, you know, we all know the Cowboys are one of the best yeah. teams in the NFL. NFL's a wild place. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> uh, all right, man, we got big coaching news finally in the uh, NFL. Josh McDaniels – oh, excuse me, he should be fired. But Nathaniel Hackett got fired. Uh, is it not him, man, or is it Russ that sucks? Nah, dude, it's Russ. <laughs> it's both. It's- Go ahead, Russ. It's both, but it's like 60% Russ. Well, look what they did when they had, uh, what's his name, Ripken or whatever that fucker's name is in the game. Ripen? Yeah. Played great. They put up, what, 27 points? Yeah, because he's not afraid to sling it. He has nothing to lose. Hey, sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to be the Brock Purdy of the league sometimes. Uh, so the J.J. Watts retiring finally. Jesus Christ, that guy. See you later. <laughs> Makes me uh, sad. I do want to say that he is a charitable man. Tony, you got any feelings about JJ Watt? Nah, nah. He a clock chaser. Fuck JJ. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Fire him up. Yes. All right. I'm glad we're all on the same page with that, except Aaron. 
Yeah, no, I like J.J. Watt. He's a charitable guy, but he's like – he's literally Russell Wilson, but just big and buff. It just he has had a good that, season like, in five years besides this season. Now he decides to retire. He nah, retired he, three years ago. So he's only played two full seasons in seven years. Ooh, yeah. yeah well, he had that, that heart problem or whatever, too. Yeah, fake. but – Fake. Okay. Okay, relax there, Tony. Poor little fucking, uh, fucking, uh, Urban Meyer sick when it, when when the media on you play like shit. Oh, my heart, my heart broke. Shut up. <laughs> Piece of shit. She went undefeated in the Big Ten, but go off, pal. Ooh. Ooh. Urban. I don't give a shit about that. He's still fake. Motherfucker, get shit. He, nah, I think he's lost. Oh. He did the same thing. I think he lost. He definitely lost to Michigan State. State. Nah, he lost like he's lost like eight games. He's like forty nine and eight or something. He seen y'all not gonna be good again forever. Uh, (laughs) He he fake heart problems. Same thing he did with Tebow. Like oh, the year after Tebow, you just dead. I just gotta get out of here. (laughs) Oh, I think that was more of no Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, what's that? Stop it, Aaron. You know he was fucking faking. What's that old show? Okay, uh, if you would shut up and listen to me. No, no, no. Yes. Not going to shut up. I'm not. The, the reason why, no, I'm saying the reason why he left Florida is, yeah, he's faked the heart problem, but I think it was because of Aaron Hernandez. He knew all that stuff that was going on. Oh, my God. What the he's fuck are you going to do to him by he, Aaron Hernandez? <laughs> he's literally the dad from San Francisco. Hey, he's always if he did, his heart. No, if he did know his life was in danger, so they weren't gonna do shit then. And Hernandez probably told him, "Yeah, I killed this motherfucker." What? You want <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the Isn't there like sixty dudes on that team who've gotten like spent in jail, like spent time in jail. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. He recruited all them people. He dirty. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker knew. Hey, get me him. Hey, hey coach, he got a court case. But that's who I want. <laughs> He's gonna be able to play still, though, right? You know, yeah, yeah. eligibility. Yeah. Yeah. When he get to the Patriots, that that'd be Bill's problem, not mine. <laughs> he can do his community service on Mondays, right? <laughs> Texas takes up six nothing. There we go. I was so right. six nothing. Uh, so I know I made the joke about Josh McDaniels getting fired, but he just benched Derek Carr. The whole reason yeah. you get Devontae Adams is because of Derek Carr, and then you bench him. Also, another little fact I didn't know. So he's not – he's inactive on Sunday. So he's not even going to – No, he, he's stepping away from the team. He doesn't I want to be distracted. Yeah, he stepped away from the team. He gets benched and he's, I'm out. Hit the Marcus <laughs> Mariota shit. Just fucking, all right. Derek yeah. Carr, he'll go to some other team and light it Indianapolis. up. Indianapolis. I've been saying this shit. Loading. Gruden got fired, Billy. Uh, that shit yeah. never was going to work without him. And Josh McDaniels need to realize after this year for the second season, bro, you're not – everybody not meant to be a head coach, bro. It's okay. Go be an offensive coordinator and be great. Like, damn, you rather hear, oh, this Josh McDaniels dude can dial it up, then, damn, this dude sucks. With <laughs> and Derek Carr. Like, Josh Jacobs. Josh – you got Josh Jacobs in the locker room talking about, yeah, I'm just tired of this shit. He unhinged. Like, how sorry do you got to be? Like, it ain't because your offense sucks. You got – you got – Derek Carr don't suck. A lot of people like, oh, he, he sucked. This dude throw 4,000 yards a year. Like, yeah, that's, that's not easy. <laughs> like, that ain't no easy feat. Like, so I'm just okay. like, I don't know. Josh, go back to – we don't want you in New England no more because you don't tarnish everything. Like, we'll just be sorry as hell, but just quit. Go to college. You want a head coach? Go to college, bro. Like, because that, that NFL shit ain't for you. And with that hacky dude, fuck Russ. It was definitely Russ's fault because he said, I wish I could have played better for him in a fucking interview. Russ, a piece yeah. of shit. I'm tired of him hiding behind Sierra and God. Fuck Russ. He a piece of shit. Uh, and I want his Hall of Fame shit script. Like, bro, it's clearly 100% Richard Sherman and was right. It was him hiding behind uh, Marshawn, toting the pill, and the Legion of Boom. 
like how fitting was it for uh Bobby Wagner to pick him off? I I love that for him. Like that was a piece of shit. He I by the lady that was with him in his draft picture, you should have known he's a piece of shit. Like fuck, bro. Well, I mean, if you can get Sierra, that's stupid to keep your high school. Yeah, I mean, I signed for two hundred fifty mil. I can get the pick of the litter too. <laughs> you guys see the video that went around uh, after Hackett got fired of. Uh, the ninth, they had the ninth overall pick, but they traded it for Russ. They're like, let's just watch Russ highlights instead of player highlights. So they're in the draft room watching Russell Wilson highlights mm-hmm. during the ninth pick. <laughs> yeah, it didn't turn out well. Nope. And fucking Seattle's going to be sitting pretty with their fucking almost playoffs uh, resume, and then they're still getting a top fucking five pick, which is fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rams to stop putting up, I need the Rams to stop putting up 50 burgers with Baker. <laughs> Baker Mayfield – is Baker Mayfield making a comeback, man? Do we think Sean McVay, like, no, might no, no, no. You know, he just fixed him. He's going to go somewhere else and be fine. Be like, oh, shit. Sean McVay just tore every – he got coached by fucking the worst coaches in Cleveland. And then they're like, ah, you're gone after he had success. And then he just sucked with Matt Rule. Like, Are you kidding me? He had no, he had no chance. Nah, yeah. I feel bad for Baker for real. I know. He sucked. <laughs> he prolonged his career, bro. He's Johnny Man. He had two days. I don't to give a fuck. System and had four um, incomplete passes, man. I don't care. He still suck, bro. It's like putting some paint on shit. It don't. It, it's eventually gonna fade off and it's gonna stink again, right? That's what he is. And I don't know why anybody keep like, oh, Baker. I I I was drunk when Matt said. I thought he said Baker MVP of the league. I didn't know it was a Nickelodeon fucking. Yes. I, was, <laughs> I, I was, bro, like, I really just wanted you to be on a spirit flight when you said that. Like, we're holding that shit was just turbulence the whole way. No, you, even you worse, know. I took a frontier flight. Oh, yeah. You oh. don't care about life. What the fuck? You I'm glad you made it safe, pal. Yeah, yeah geez. I'm, I'm glad I'm you told just, us after yeah. you were safe. Because, like, if you would have told me that before you left, I would have been just sitting here, like, worried oh, yeah. all day. Just like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I, bought, I bought a first-class seat, and I was more crammed than I've ever been. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was the front row. I had the very first seat in the plane. It was awful. Maybe the free drinks, though, probably helped a little bit. No, no free drinks. What the so what would you pay for? Uh, it was $15 to upgrade, so I had to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Anyway, speaking of uh, Russell uh, Wilson's terrible draft pick, who y'all got? Who y'all ready to see come through in the draft? Will Anderson. That's a good fucking pick. Yeah, I, I like it, but I feel like we always go to the quarterback just to see, like, what's going to happen. Because this, like – I'm not the biggest fan of Bryce Young or a lot of the other quarterbacks in the draft um, for the NFL like style because Bryce Young's another Tua, but he's just uh, a little more, I would say, like a little more accurate than Tua. But I feel like Bryce is just the same. It's the same. It's the same movement. It's the same I mean, throw motion. It's a lot of difference between Bryce and Tua. Tua was injury prone and now his fucking head scrambled like eggs. So Bryce ain't got that going for him. Two of one more hit and he done for life. So yeah. Don't compare two to nobody. No, we can see when Bryce gets to the league and see what happens. Uh to a, almost an invalid. Almost I feel bad. A what? An invalid. It's just gonna be Does anybody yeah. know what that means? No. As it's, yeah. he's just gonna, he's gonna be a body, bro. Okay, okay. you can't be using college rule like college words around here. I don't, I didn't know what that was. But he's just a body. I see what you're saying. Uh, but I'm really excited for Joey Porter Jr. To be honest, like I think that's gonna be whoever whoever picks him up because he's not gonna go early in the draft. He's not like a Pat Sertan the second or anything. But yeah. he's I feel Unless like he blows he, the combine out of the water. Oh, that's true. Yeah. See, I'm like I, I can't wait for the combine. But stop. You're not a fan of the combine, Aaron? I think it's stupid. You're dumb. You should Why? just get off the podcast. It's the greatest <laughs> thing ever. They get treated pretty bad. Who? They're about to go make millions. Who cares? How do they nah, get treated? Bro, 
bro, they gotta like wake up at stupid early times and like wear this stupid like sweatsuit and like there's all these rules and stuff, dude. They already know where they're gonna go and who's been talking to them, bro. It's all silly. No, and then Kenny Pickett always oh, his hands are only eight and a half. Who cares, dude? That's a measurable, man. That's something that is like a thing. It's dumb. It's dumb. I He's can be perfectly fine. I can be with you on a lot you know? of things here. That they are dumb. But then, yes. so are pro days dumb too? Yeah, because what I don't like about pro days is Malik Willis was doing all these crazy throws, right? Uh-huh. Cool. Did he have shoulder pads on? No. Did he have a helmet on? No. Why didn't you just it's, pick Malik Willis? Because he, he was the one that, yeah, it was across his body, and it was like 60 uh, yards down the field. Yeah, oh boy, Zach out here selling wolf tickets with the same passes. That's the reason why the Jets took him, because of his pro day. Yeah. But we see how good that is. Malik will have what, a in this league. Zach won't. That's why, I think, that's why I think it's so silly. I mean, I don't think so. But it dude, don't prove anything. The quarterback pads not really making no difference. I was like four, yeah, five yeah. pounds. No, they they make, it's it's your it's your motion and like like how you're like like as you're running like depending on how tight they are, especially too like if they're tighter like as you're running. Huh? Did you play quarterback? Sadly, hmm. well, oh, not very good. But no, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so like your motion, like it's easy if you throw a cross body throw, like with no pads on, you don't have a lot of like friction with like where your arm's gonna go. But you add two, three inches, it's gonna kind of do something different. Like it's just like it is easy. I like that it helps a lot of dudes like improve their draft stock. Like if you're a team though and you're like buying that shit, I think that is silly. But I like it just because it does show like. Look how like far I can throw. Look at like these like really pretty passes. But I'm with you to a point, Aaron. But the combine, like the it's like the shuttle drills, shit like that. Like how the forty time, like it's like how, like are you quick enough to do the shuttle drill? Is my favorite one. I'm cool with that that kind of stuff for sure. But like the no pad stuff, it just bothers me. And the hands thing, that don't matter, bro. It just shows cool. their base athleticism. Sure, but. That doesn't mean they can't go into a scheme somewhere and and well, kill yeah, but it. This just puts you know? all their measurables out, like without any restrictions. Like, what can you do? And then they go off of that. Obviously, you're going to be a little bit slower in pads, or some people play faster in pads. You know, it just that's when training camp comes in. But just the combine is good for measurables because, like, some wide receiver might have a great college career, but then runs a four eight, and you're like, oh shit, hey, that ain't so good. And then, or you'd be like John Ross and run a four two, and you're like, "Oh, you suck at football, though." Yeah, but we're gonna take you. <laughs> uh, Aaron, do you have a favorite draft? Pro- is your yours because you don't like CJ Stroud? Who do you want to see in the draft? Excuse me. That Carter from the uh, interior lineman from Georgia. Yeah, I think he can make some moves too. But I think with what's his name, Walker, going up the draft board last year, I don't think it's going to have the same effect for him. They're going to be like, ah, I don't know. These Georgia players are just really, really good. I don't know if we're going to take a chance on him early or not. I just want to see what he does against grown men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, college kids are grown men too. But, like, I want to see him against Jason Kelsey. Because, like, this kid can do whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like the same with Ed Oliver a few years ago. Everyone was like, he's the exact same as Aaron Donald. There's no difference. And then now he's like, he's an okay defensive tackle. He's nothing great in the NFL, but it's the same yeah. thing. You just don't know with these guys. Yeah. Mm-mm. But, I mean, if you're if you're a Buffalo fan, you fucking love Ed Oliver. Well, yeah. All right, Tony, what about you, man? Who are you looking for in the draft? Oh, no. What the hell, uh, Aaron, drunk over there. <laughs> I, tried, I, tried, I tried to swipe up to get it out of there, but I actually clicked it. I don't know. Uh, Jonathan Mingo, probably. Yeah, no. So there was one mock draft that had him going to the Ravens at like 26 or something like that. And I'm like, he's not making it that far. No, there's not a fucking chance. Uh, I do have one more player that I think has the most upside out of his position. Who's that? 
Anthony Richardson from Florida, the quarterback. I don't think yes. any of the quarterbacks in this draft are good, but I feel like he has the best tools of any quarterback. Because i just seen he was at his like former high school. He was standing mm-hmm. on the 20-yard line, took one step, and just flicked it 80 yards. Just like, fucking on a dot. Are you – what are you, Josh Allen? Let's take it easy here, pal. Yeah. Well, because Aaron Rodgers has that really famous video of him just hitting them nets, like those fucking – yeah those basketball size nets from like 60 yards away too. So it's like, we can see like, oh, okay, here's your potential. Now, Anthony Richards, I feel like he's going to be real raw. So I put like 50 bucks on him to win the Heisman after the Utah game, uh, like a silly goose, but um, odds were in my favor though. Uh, but I do think I like the upside take Matt, because I do think like someone can get him, develop him. He can sit. And it's like, again, we got to sit some of these young guys and let them like yeah. see how to be an NFL quarterback, you know? Yeah. And I think he can. That's the favorite. best thing that's ever happened to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, and and, and the Moore. worst, and the worst thing to ever happen to Jordan Love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we're ready to move on to the NBA. So, Tony O, the Grizzly Warrior rivalry. You excited about this? I am, bro. Like I know people like you gonna be like, "Well, there's no Steph, so it's not fair." I don't care, but like, Clay Thompson talked the most shit. He's not as good as he think he is, so that's funny to see. Um, Draymond out here licking his tongue out at people. Uh, walking what is he doing? Is he doing the fucking like a or like a what is, or is it like a? It's really sexual. It's kind of disgusting. Quite nasty. Can you give us an example? Just do one real fast. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, that shit's just fun, bro. Like, and they picking on light skins. Like, nobody ever talk crazy to Ja. It'd be people like Dylan Brooks or Desmond Bain. They won't talk crazy to Ja or Stephen Adams. Like. They won't look at Steven out crazy. So uh that's it kind of it's just it's it's fun, bro. Like cause Ja had said, yeah, I'm good in the West. And then he lost like he lost the last three in the West. It's, but that shit happens, dude. So I'm gonna yeah, argue it. What's up? I wasn't done. My bad, Tony. I'll go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh that's what I was about to say, man. That shit happened, bro. Like people can lose. Uh, now you can go ahead and say what you need to say. <laughs> My bad. But I'm in an argument with people right now, and they're saying that you can't win a championship with Ja being the best on, on your team. And it's like, why? Then they're bringing up, he doesn't play defense. And it's like, I, well, almost nobody plays defense anymore in the league. That's yeah. the top, a top superstar, unless you're Giannis. Like, that doesn't <laughs> – I don't think it correlates. And it's just like Luca. No defense. Doesn't even pretend to try, right? And we're, like, talking about how great Luca is, and we just – nah, who cares about his defense? Like, we're just going to – I hate that shit. I was listening to this dude, this Wiles dude that be with Nick Wright, and he was like, yeah, that 60 ball y'all was talking about really ain't that impressive. Seeing uh, Carl Anthony Towns do it, seeing Kyrie do it, nobody cared. Like, he was like, them the rebounds against – the Knicks, ooh, they biggest, they, they center is six, six ten. <laughs> he was like, was impressive. And I was like, you know what? Kind of don't matter because you have to go down to the wire with the Knicks. It wasn't like, it wasn't like he did it against the Celtics and beat their ass. Like, all right, <laughs> Nick. I mean, the Knicks don't suck, but they didn't have Jalen Brunson or uh, somebody else was missing. So you telling me if Jalen Brunson was there, he would have had a sixty ball and an L? I don't care about it. Uh, Luca, Luca, everybody want Luca to be the face of the league so bad. Well, face of the league, got to play some defense, a little bit of defense. I think Man. it's because Luca's not like too buff or anything either. Like he just kind of looks like I do. Like he's just like a guy out there. <laughs> yeah, probably never be the face of the league. <laughs> Sorry, like this ain't the days where Jerry West was the logo and. You know, that's that's what we was going with. Uh I I don't the Luca Luca's great. Don't get me wrong, he's a superstar in his own right. But Luca, I'm telling you, man, Luca give up every game, whoever he guarded, between twenty eight and forty points. So <laughs> they're gonna help right there. If he can help the team on defense, then cause cause everybody Luca needs help. Luca need we just watched them. Go on a 51 point third quarter. You need help and you can score 50 in a quarter. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Damn, <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Like, and I'm talking about everybody shooting Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, 16 points, uh, Spencer Dinwood, 
Spencer Dimwiddle, uh, fucking, excuse me. Spencer Dimwiddle got, uh, the lowest points. He had nine. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> what, 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 what do you, what do you mean? Christian Wood went off for 18. Luca, Luca was the second lowest scoring player in this shit. And he need help. I don't want to hear that shit, man. Like, uh, but he put up 60 one time, so it's fucking everyone's yep, free. He, let's, let's just corn him. Um, I I don't know. Uh, the Grizz, that, that, that shit fun. Um, another rivalry that I think going to be fun in the playoffs or on down the line, Celtics and the Bucks. Uh, Jalen Brown let Giannis know, I don't care. Greek freak, uh, seat geek, uh, geek squad. <laughs> Celtics in four. Like, like Giannis, he pushed Giannis down, didn't get the foul call. Giannis looking for it, and nothing. Then he tried to buck up at him, and it's like, yeah, but that's a bunch of killers on that bench. They don't care about nothing. Like, he got Marcus Smart. He color his hair every two weeks. He don't care about shit. Like, uh, <laughs> then, then your little brother, like, your little brother coming to your rescue, they was like, yeah, to be honest, man, all right, you barely outside of a – uh, goddamn drive through job, and now you just tough as hell. Come on, man. Come on, bro. You was just Christmas caroling. We're not scared of you. Uh, and then I'm like, this is the shit that made me mad. Your brother was getting hold by Montrez Harold. You gonna say something after he make your brother leave the court, but now that it's six folks, Marcus Smart, you tough. Shut up, bitch. You a bitch. Like, shut up. So I like that. I like that because. That's gonna make a. I hope they go to seven. Milwaukee and uh, the Celtics. I would like to see that. Uh, yeah, but it's it's gonna be hard because the East kind of shaping up to be crazy again. Uh, when LeBron left, it's like everybody get good because you got Ooh. Brooklyn cooking, KD and Kyrie cooking. Just won nine in a row, and that's. I mean, they do what they do best. They score. Like they can't defend for shit, but they'll score. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to defend when you're putting up 150. But then you got you got Philadelphia doing the same shit. Like, Joel over there is having a time, and they won nine straight, too. So it's like, all right, the East shaping up to be fun. Um, and then you come back to the West. The best team in the West is Denver now with Mr. I Might 3 Pete. I know you're a hater. I know you're a hater. Y'all talking about Luca is the MVP. I don't know. No, no, no. Well, I seen what Matt said it, and then uh, I said it, and then like I, uh, said it. I was just hoping Buckeye would stand on his own and just be like Ja. Like you don't gotta be right, but to say Luca, fuck <laughs> Luca, not. Right. I want Ja. I want Ja to win it for sure. Ja, I think Ja's the most fun player to watch. He definitely the most exciting player to watch. Yeah. Yeah. If you in the paint. And he could take off. It's almost like your career is almost over every night. You just <laughs> like, so. Tell you, what do you do? What do you do to keep Jaw out of the paint? Nothing. You paint. He's too, he's too fast. Block him. Block him, block like, him from behind. Like if you got this dude, literally the dude from the Warriors that he tried to end. Uh, fuck, Lamb, number forty. That dude, he took off from two steps outside of the paint. What the fuck you doing with that? Like. You got this little ass dude that's trying to take flight from fucking uh, ten feet away, and if if he didn't have no contact or too much contact, he would have dumped that shit. Like there's nothing you do. There's there's nothing you like. You can as long as I don't think people are malicious like back in the nineties and eighties, so they're not gonna grab him out the air. So yeah, I'm you just bring his ass down. Yeah, you 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 just. Isn't that intentional foul now? You said what? Not? Nah, that's it. It's, that's it. Uh, it's if you put somebody out the air. It's probably like a flagrant two. Probably with risk of suspension for a couple games. Yeah, it's it's like the same thing when you're like you're trying to get a foul, like to get them to shoot the two, so you can go back down and get a three, like one of those like. Yeah. You it's a foul. <clears throat> uh, so do you think Arkansas won? By the way, what's up? Arkansas won. And and three overtimes. Yeah, man, the SEC is just fucking going buck wild on the Big Twelve. Goodness gracious, they won. We'll take it. 
They, they had the first SEC win this bowl season too, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know. I ain't been watching no bowl games. Uh, I've been flying around to Vegas and shit. <laughs> Oh, my bad, man. You're taking, you're taking mine. All right. uh, uh, what's up, Tony? Um, anyway, back to this MVP shit. Joker definitely putting up. Everybody at, like, that stat line he put up, It was, that shit was way more impressive than what Luka did. Because, uh, come on, bro. What it was, it was like, if you're looking, If you're looking at just stat lines, it's not. If you just look at, like, but if you look at who he played, how he got the rebounds, like, then – then no, you're right. But if you just look at a stat line, dude, 60, 20, 10, 21, 10. Yeah, bro, I don't care. Uh, Joker, I'm pretty sure, had a block in his stat line. I know Luke <laughs> ain't had one of them. <laughs> I know he didn't have one of them. All right, let's 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 see who Luca was guarding last night. Let's put his points or his rebounds or his assists against Luca and subtract from that and see what Luca's number line really was. Let's do that. I respect that. That's kind of a. Like, what if Luca guarded RJ Barrett and RJ Barrett had 30? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just don't know. Uh, Billy, we back talking about our our favorite team and our favorite player. That's right. Uh, street clothes, you you jinxed him. Uh, I didn't jinx him. He jinxed like himself. What? Street clothes so fucking hurt, they don't even know what to call the injury. Like, we still <laughs> don't know what the fuck wrong with him. He just out. Uh, it and just says injured on his thing. It doesn't even say like, like knee. foot yeah. foot injury. <laughs> nah, I was supposed foot. to get surgery. It, it went. Nah, he ain't have no surgery. Uh, uh, he just got his MRI. MRI. Yeah, uh, it went from, he just got a foot to just injury, Matt. Uh, so I don't know. I maybe he got a, a hang nail. I don't know what the fuck wrong with him. The what the shit that they show is it's got to be studied. Like I want AD studied, bro. Like how he got his ankle hurt. Mid air, somebody bumped his ankle mid air, and they said that's that's when he came down limping. So I went because you know I like the fat check shit, and that is exactly what happened. Like <laughs> he hit somebody's thigh, hit his foot, not hard, and he just came down. Yep, it was about that time for me to pull one on you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he didn't even that's what he does. Off. That's what he does. He goes on stretches of just being unstoppable, gets hurt, and they're like, wow, AD is one of the best players. He'll get another contract from it. You know, it's just the way he does it. So he doesn't have to work. It's just the best. So, I just wish real life work like that. You know, I could just work real hard for a couple weeks. Just be like, all right, fellas, I got to get out of here. Like, you know, and then yeah. just come back. Old elbows acting up. <laughs> yeah, that dude get more SIQ chips than anybody I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's crazy, but bro, I don't. We gotta get to the the meat and potatoes, but like, I feel like we gotta go back to twenty twenty when Magic resigned because he said people that didn't know basketball was making basketball decisions for the Lakers. That shit is very apparent now. Like, yeah, I'm thinking he just want to get out of there. You know, you the president of basketball for the Lakers. You got a lot. Like, you are a great, a Laker great. So, it's a lot of pressure on you to make them boys great. So, I'm thinking, like, oh, shit, well, he brought LeBron here, and that shit didn't work the first year. Uh, Now, he's just trying to run from the pressure. But, nah, he was right. Like, Kurt Rambis. I don't even know who the fuck Kurt Rambis is. He played for the Lakers for a while. He ain't good enough to make no decisions. Clearly, (laughs) he wasn't. He, if he was on the showtime, he was handing tiles out. I don't like he didn't he didn't get no stretch. Right, well, we can just hang. So it's, it's live. Anyway, uh I just feel like uh I feel like LeBron can't win and they have wasted probably three years of prime LeBron. Cause I, I can see if LeBron was year twenty and let's just say he averaging 14 points right now, which is a crazy yeah. decline. Then I'm like, all right, well, they weren't going to do shit. But last last uh, eight games, 30, 30 balls every time. Like, yeah. easy 30 balls. Like, the shit. If LeBron – I was telling Billy yesterday, if LeBron didn't shoot one three, but he got to because they get down by a lot a lot of time when he sit down. If he didn't shoot one three, he would shoot 80% from the field. 
You know how crazy that is? Because he's just taking it. Like, last night, this dude hit a fucking stutter move, Aaron. Year 20, a day away from being 38, hit a fucking stutter move on Pablo Blanchero, the youngest dude in the league, like the number one draft pick, went past him and just drifted to the other side and hit a fucking fader that's like, all right, I'm young as shit still. And that shit just looked good as fuck. And it's like, all right, the Lakers don't fuck with you, bro, because you're really productive. You're still the most productive person on this team, man. We're not going to get you no help. Uh, I I think he should demand a trade and go to uh, the Nuggets or some shit. Like, tell them, hey, y'all know that extension? I'll pay it. Like, I'll just pay y'all back. Because <laughs> he's going to waste his talent or waste his time. Like, because every year we be like, LeBron gonna lose some athleticism, lose some shit. This motherfucker still catching alleys. The dude caught an alley over Bowl Bowl last night. That is, he's forty nine years old. Like, dude is fifty six yeah. and still doing shit like this. And we just like, yeah, that's that's that's. So I, the Lakers front office needs to be fired. I want Genie's brothers. Like I told Billy, I want one of them to start back drinking. Start talking shit to her about running, like going to the press. Yeah, Jeannie won't let us help with basketball operations. She don't know shit, calling her a whore and all that shit. Like, I just want to, you know, I just want them to do that. I feel like Phil Jackson got a part in this shit, too, telling Jeannie, hey, man, LeBron too old for you to waste them picks in 2027 and 2029, which is light years away from here. So don't do it. So I don't know. I hate the Lakers front office. Yeah, the, the, these like splash moves they're making, where like it feels like they're trying to do something, and it's like, yeah, this shit ain't gonna work. Like you're not getting LeBron shooters. Like you're literally just getting Russ, and that's gonna pop like in the media. And then you get Pat Bev, the fucking you know number two defensive player of the year, like not a shooter again. Where you've seen LeBron win finals and championships with shooters, shooters. like that's like. Oh. Old shooters, new shooters, just shooters, but like somebody to be on the outside. But we're looking at a Lakers team where no slight to him because he's good as fuck. But AR is the second best Lakers player since AD down. Undrafted Austin Reeves, second best player on a team in the NBA with motherfuckers that you could like to the life of me, bro. Because everybody, I was reading an article and they was like, well, of course. Russ looked good off the bench because we don't see him making the mistakes as often because ain't nobody out there for them to make mistakes with. Like, they just – the dude did, like, the raw stats, and he was like, yeah, Russ ain't doing nothing to help them win like that. It just looked like that because he's coming off the bench and he getting triple doubles and shit like that. But he was like, yeah, he's still averaging six turnovers. He still can't play in the clutch. Like, bro, for them not to go – and get that Buddy Hill and fucking uh, Miles Turner shit. Like, bro, that shit on the table, and they only wanted one draft pick, or if they wanted two. Bro, you go get a 40 or, yeah, a 41% shooter. Miles Turner shooting the three. He put his own numbers out there. He said, I shoot the three from 38. He do. That's better than anybody on the Lakers. By a lot. Like, let's go get this motherfucker. Now we got somebody that will play center and AD can can stop faking hurt because he don't want to play center. <laughs> they suck. They suck. Another person who can't win, Billy, Aaron Gordon. We seen D-Wade hold him in the shit where he jumped over bowl bowl in the dunk contest. And then we seen the other night where he literally dunked uh, Landry Shaman into next year already. Shaman is in 2023. That probably was a dunk of the year. Like, I seen it from all angles, and he just flight fifty was crazy, and they call it they call a fucking charge, bro. Like, I, I he can't win. Aaron Aaron Gordon can't win. Though. I feel bad for him. Like, did you see the the presser after, or I don't know if it was that game, but uh, the Joker was like, "Ag, you're done," and like kicked him out of the booth. <laughs> bro, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah, hey, he, was, he was talking bro, to the press about. Uh, Cause I I never noticed this, but you know how people well uh, they like NBA players are dressed like this, kind of flashy and shit. And the Joker had an article where, hey, I'm wearing suits every night because I'm coming to do business. 
and then they showed him with that suit that he had on like this tailor suit the suit was clean as fuck. and i look and that's all he wears suits on one of these but most of the time it's suits and i like it how y'all feel about that i like it i like it I'm I'm with the suits if you follow it with I'm here for business. You know what I mean? That's the only that, see that's what made it hard, bro. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm here for business. I'm a two time MVP back in the can and the uh running and be third. I'm gonna let y'all know I'm here for business day and night. So Billy, I don't know about y'all. I've never wore a suit. I just couldn't imagine wearing a suit on a flight. Like I feel like it's not the most comfortable thing to be in. Well, I mean you get them tailored like it fits you, it's fit you, so it's just like wearing anything else. I don't and obviously you have a collar, but and Billy, I don't think they just really I think they fly there like a day early for the game, unless it's a back to back. So it ain't like he got off the plane in a suit. Oh like, yeah, he definitely wasn't wearing a suit hotel. over a flight. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't fucking know, man. I just like <laughs> uh, speaking of international of coaches also with suits on i think that's like super cool i'm kind of upset like the way like college basketball and the nba is going away from that where they're just kind of wearing like the shit with the, the jump team logo on. yeah yeah every coach in the nba look like bill belichick now i hate it <laughs> 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 ain't nobody like ain't nobody like yeah i'm gonna out coach the shit out of you in this goddamn three-piece hot ass <laughs> Like, and you know, it happened when Roy Williams left North Carolina. Like, well, because uh, one of the thought. best memes, too, is uh, Jim Beheim from Syracuse, <laughs> where he's fucking doing one of those, and his whole, like, all his suits, like, up in the air. Like, oh, man. Uh, but while we was talking about the Joker, uh, maybe top five international player, maybe by the end of his career, let's talk about who LeBron deemed the best international player. The Mavericks still doing it right, surrounding Luka by shooters and putting Dirk, Dirk statue up. Dirk has the hardest basketball statue in the league, bro. Like I, yeah. I don't that the shit is just it's unorthodox. Like his shot was like the ball behind his head. He on his one foot tiptoed up. Like it's perfect form of Dirk. It might not be the best, but that shit definitely, definitely like Mark Cuban. Uh, he a dickhead, but he take care of his people, bro. Like that statue was amazing looking, bro. Like only thing that could have been better was him with a plate with aluminum foil on it, just walking out. Like that's the only thing that could have been better than what they did for him. How y'all feel about the statue? I like it. It was crazy. I was like, how the hell did they make the statue or is leaning? But it's not like leaning. It's like the statue, like the base at an angle. And I, I was like, how the hell did they do that? But then I realized it's not as like crazy of a lean as it, like it looks. So it's pretty cool. Better than the commanders. So <laughs> well, it's what happens when you have a good owner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so being in Dallas, I always thought. So like watching, like I only watched Mavs games for like a really long time. So I thought. The only way to shoot a ball was having it behind your head and <laughs> shooting the ball. Do like I still I like most of my shots are still that way. Like just because I can't get over it. But Dirk doesn't have the hardest statue. I don't mean any disrespect to him. His statue is really cool. But I'm giving it to Michael Jordan. His he has the biggest number one. His is the biggest statue of any statues in the NBA, and his is the fucking logo on his own shoes. Like, it's hard to do that. Like, like mm-hmm. your logo that you made for your shoes are is what the fuck they put up in front of whatever Chicago's arena is called now. Fuck Michael Jordan. I'm with you. But uh, Jerry West also has a really sick statue. Uh, when Tony put that in the notes, I made sure to look at a couple and, like, see which ones I like. Jerry West's is really cool. Magic Johnson's is also pretty fucking cool. Uh, Elgin Baylor, probably the most underrated statue. Because I didn't even know that motherfucker had a statue. But his is fucking dope also. Why wouldn't Elgin have a statue? I just didn't know. Like, I don't know how far. Because he played for the – not the he played for the Kansas City Kings, not the Sacramento Kings. So it was like one of those weird ones. Yeah. I don't know if he would have a statue. I, I don't know. That dirt shit kind of hard. You might be right. Shaq shit hard. Cause he like- Shaq's is really good, yeah. And then so back to – Shit, is this our last subject right here? It is, man. Um, I just gotta. I uh, 
Um, just gotta do Tony O's top tier. I don't see that. Fuck, I didn't write it down. I got it pulled up though. Uh, so we yeah, reclaiming a reclaiming a throne. Uh, Boston Celtics. Uh, Jason Tatum letting letting Giannis know I ain't scared of you by dunking on his ass. Uh, like I said, Jalen Brown. After Jason Tatum dunked on him, Jalen Brown puts him on the ground and called him a bitch. So I like that. Uh, the number two team is uh, the MVP leading candidate. I'm just playing. It's probably Jason Tatum. Uh, Joker. The Nuggets are – they last week they was like fifth. Now they first in the West. I don't know what the West got going on. The West is just so compacted, like in the top six. But if the Lakers won three games in a row, they'd be in fifth place. That's that's crazy as fuck. Like, and they they're not even close to five hundred. Uh, nope. I think they're getting their ass whooped right now. Uh, oh, I know they are. I'm not, I haven't even seen the score. Yeah, uh, number three team uh, discount uh, Donovan and there uh, there is Garland. They over there doing their thing in Cleveland. Um, they got their ass beat by the Nets the other day, like badly, but they still doing their thing. Number four, uh, them Grizzlies probably going to be in the top five the whole year. I ain't going to lie, bro. They just exciting to watch. They win. They have fun. I like it because they have fun, bro. Like, well, and even when Jaws out, Dylan Brooks plays pretty well, too. Like, Dylan Brooks is not scared to fucking step up when he needs to, you know? And I think that's, like, a pretty big deal. I, uh, him, Desmond, Desmond, Bain, I think Desmond Bain back, like, um, Jaron Jackson, them boys, that's a good core, bro. Uh, I like them. And then number five, like I said, uh, it was between the Sixers or, um, the Nets. And I'm definitely going with the Nets because KD quietly sneaking into the MVP race. Averaging thirty a game, I'm. It's uh, he don't brush his hair. Uh, yeah, that's impressive. Like, uh, matter of fact, he just hit the game winning jumper to give the Nets they ten tenth win in a row. So yeah, KD, KD got them boy looking good, man. I don't, I, Kyrie, he done figured it out. Like, I think he just going out there to score high points and disrespect Nike. So I like that shit. I like rebellion. Uh, he don't give a fuck about money or nothing like that. So he's just out there having fun. Still, still, when it comes to handles, best best ball handling league. I don't care. Yeah. There's no situation you can't put him in a sticky situation. Like I seen, I seen him get cornered and still dribble out of that shit the other night. And I'm just like, bro, what? <laughs> like, so yeah, that's that's Tony O's top five. How y'all feel about them? Y'all got any changes? Like one, number one, submit it. Number two, two, but three through four, three through five probably could be changeable. Matt, who you? If you could put somebody in that three, four, or five spot, would you got anybody that I didn't say? I think you said it already. The the Sixers right there, like borderline five, just because they're yeah. doing the same thing the Nets are. Yeah, on their hot streak too. So I respect that. Like I said, man, only only reason why. Um, Offense on the offensive side of the ball, Kyrie a little bit more consistent than James Harden. James Harden not having a bad year, but I know, I know Kyrie. You can trust him. Kyrie a little more too when you get to the postseason. Yeah, yeah, Kyrie. Well, he's Kyrie. been there. He's been there. Kyrie, Kyrie. Well, he has been there. Why well, was this man? No, he's, no been there. he's got he's got the label, the label of he's been there. Oh, I got like, you. Okay, yeah. Like, not only obviously LeBron won it, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not only has he been there, LeBron did hit like let's because we not one of them shows the bad LeBron. LeBron did uh-huh. hit uh nine of those points at uh before Kyrie uh hit, hit that shot. Yeah, uh, and the block like we're just yeah. ignoring, and it's one of the best calls ever. Like we're just ignoring that whole part. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! Like <laughs> that's just real. Like yeah, I remember. I remember when. When Kyrie hit that shot, because we was having like a little watch party, bro. When Were you Kyrie was, nah, Jesus. no, that was. I went to boot camp. No, that was 2016. Yeah, you went yeah, in the so, next. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> you only did I joined, boot camp, right? I, Yeah, 
I I joined the Navy at the beginning of seventeen. Oh, yeah, man. You ain't, you, yeah, your job is. I wasn't bad. even. I didn't even graduate high school before. <laughs> Where how old are you? Twenty-four. That's why. I, that's why I was saying Stetson like, Bennett had a whole eight-year college career before Aaron even graduated high school. Yeah, and that was like you've been to all these different places, and Stetson Bennett was still in school. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to that. We doing the show with a minor. We do not <laughs> we do not promote anything for minors around here. Just we don't drink. We don't drink on the show. Uh none of that. Billy, stop putting your fucking cup up. Uh, <laughs> it's not goo. Okay, just making sure that's a weird looking mountain dew. Yeah, don't, it's a, don't confuse it's, called, it's override. It's from uh Iowa. It's like only available in Iowa. Dude just want to hype Iowa up so bad. <laughs> like, you can't stand Mississippi cold. That Iowa shit going to eat you alive. Nah, that's a different cold for sure. That shit going to eat Billy alive. He going well, to try to smoke not, a cigarette. Not last Friday. It was pretty brutal last Friday. It was negative 40. No, thank you. It was what? Yeah. Negative exactly. 40, bro. That storm, exactly. that storm was brutal. Hold on. Did y'all have to go to work and shit? Nah. Oh, see? Aaron, this is the same Billy that was on the phone last night with me. It was probably like 46 in Mississippi. And he was like, it's cold as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's negative that, Billy, and go outside. You, you're not taking the dogs out. You're, gonna, you're just going to start smoking it's in the living room. degrees colder. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep. Dude, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow and Friday, it's supposed to be like 52. See, and that's nice. But see, dude, when I go, when I went up there, bro, it was like six. It was like seventy six. It was seventy six, and her family was up there sweating bullets. Like it's so hot outside, and I'm just like, oh, I'm free. Texas Tech just picked them off. Let's go. See, like Guns ten up, seven. We'll be all right. Uh, but before we end the show, man, I do want to. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we talked about the Skip Shannon thing. Did we not talk about it on the show? We did a little bit. All right, so it happened. It happened again on uh, Sirius XM uh, Channel eighty six NBA Today. The jump with Eddie Johnson and some fucking reporter, and his name's slipping my mind right now. But he, uh, they were talking about the MVP race, and he was talking about how LeBron like needs some help. And then the reporter guy was like, "LeBron doesn't need any help." Yada yada yada. And the uh, Eddie Johnson, uh, he played. He played in the league a while ago. He hasn't like played in a, in a long time, 20, 30 years, but. He was like, if LeBron had a player like I like I was, he would be able like the the wins would would come or whatever. So then the reporter was just like, "Who are you? Who were you?" Blah 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 blah. Like going off on Eddie Johnson, and uh, Eddie Johnson's not some some slouch. Like he had he averaged like twenty points, five five rebounds, and like two assists a game for his career. Like that's not a, just some bump out there, right? And I I just it fucking pisses me off when these reporters and these journalists like. Yeah, they maybe played high school ball or something. So, like, I'm not saying they don't know anything. But it's like, dude, this dude made it to the highest profession he could get. And in the NBA, like, there's 11 roster spots, 30 teams. Like, that's fucking hard to do. Like, and I just think these journalists – and I don't know if it's – maybe if it's for views, I respect it a lot less because it's that's just trash. Like, I'm never going to listen to that show again because of that guy. Undisputed, I'm never going to watch again. And I just, like, y'all, could y'all maybe help me, like, where – why do journalists think they can do this shit and just talk well, crazy to these actual fucking athletes? And, and in that not, instance, and it's not for views or listeners because no one's got, no one has Sirius XM. No one's listening to that. No. You're the, you were probably one of three listeners that day. I told you, I told you what it was, bro. Like most of these athletes, they look like me, just big, big black dudes. Uh, and there, it, you got to bring in the stereotype. Like, all right, this dude's just going to get angry as fuck. He going to put his hands on me. He going to go to jail. I'm going to win me a lawsuit or something like that. So what do they do? They don't do shit. They just take it. Like, Shannon Sharp. The same, thing with, the same thing with Giovanni Bernard, too. Yeah, like. What happened with Giovanni Bernard? Are them, them, uh, the two reporters were, like, going at him about when he fumbled against the Bengals um, on the punt. They were like. They're asking him like whose fault it was. Did you know it was coming? And Gio was like, "Yep, I made a mistake. Yep, I made a mistake." And then they started talking about, "Well, you've been hurt all year. 
do you not know the plays? Do you not know the calls? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yep. He was like, yep, it's my fault. I messed up. It's my mistake. I'm owning it. And they just like, kept, like, they were pushing his buttons, bro, trying to get him to, like, freak out. Badly. And the dude was like, Giovanni was like, well, y'all ain't talk, talk to me all year, bro. Like, y'all on me. I don't answer y'all. He was like, well, you ain't gave us nothing to talk about. And I'm just like, I would have hit him with my helmet. Like, I would have been, <laughs> I would have been Demarcus cousin in that bitch. Uh, yeah. Talking real crazy, you a bitch. I know you a bitch. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> I know what you hide behind. You hide behind that mic, but you, I would have been like, not for real they, because they know they can't get touched. Exactly, but and that's what they expect. They expect the Demarcus cousin to say like, I don't give a fuck about being fine. I'll beat the fuck out of you. But most, 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 uh, most dudes like coming. Most of these athletes, especially the older ones, they coming from the south. Their grandmas raised them. It was a hard time when they was getting raised, so it was like, hey, you know, you can't act like this, man. You're going to go to jail. You're going to get, you know, you're going to get crucified, literally. So it's like now you just got to hold your tongue because they was taught that. Like I said, Skip or Shannon should have, um, when he took them glasses off, he should have flew across that table, slapped the chain off Skip ass, like sent Skip home to Ernestine for a couple weeks, bro. Like, uh, but it's, it's like and I that's said. That's not a good luck for TV either. Exactly, like, cause, cause, at, at, let, let's see what Skip just mumbling. Oh, he's gonna be a better Hall of Famer than you. Like I was telling Billy, there's no fucking tears in the Hall of Fame. Like, if you made it to the Hall of Fame, especially an NFL Hall of Fame, you was good as fuck, bro. Like, they they're not just giving that shit to you because you Shannon Sharp. Yeah. To it took To what two times, three times to get in there. It was two. They didn't let him in on the first time. To top three wide receiver ever. Yeah, and he should have been a first ballot. There's no, yeah. So, so it's, it's hard as fuck to get in there, like, because they judge you by your character and by what you did. Of course, of course. I mean, uh, apparently, because if we just judging To by stats, yeah, yeah, let's get him in there first round. That was uh, another thing I got a problem with too with the Hall of Fame. It's like it's not the Hall of really good characters. It's the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Michael Irvin was fucking hookers and doing cocaine all in the '80s. Like. No one gives a fuck. Was he? Were you good at football? That's, that's what. And he, that's what he openly Gregory. talks about it too. But that's yeah, what, like a gangster dude. He's just yeah. like, oh yeah, those were the days. Like, <laughs> but but that's what regular people was doing in the eighties. Like everybody was doing coke and fucking everybody, bro. Like <laughs> it was a better time in life too, because everybody yeah. gives a fuck. Like it's it's it's, it's because, bro, they really do it because they know, like we we live in this. G, not even PG no more. G censored world. So hey, if I say something, he just gotta take it. Now offline, if you get your ass whooped, then it is like I told you, like that reporter. That's um, <laughs> the dude said, yeah, she takes me something different. Like he, they was picking their outfits or whatever, and the dude was like, yeah, my wife picked it. She said, well, good enough. That's good enough for me. And the dude was like, well, she said something differently to me. In the text message. Yeah, I'm talking about a text message. Yeah. And, On uh, national yeah. television, bro. And, uh, and then what three, minutes was later, three minutes later, you see the dude. It was a there. football show. Yeah. At college football, I think. Um, you see the dude coming back. He fixing his suit. The black dude he was talking to, he fixing his suit. And you don't see Buddy come back yet. <laughs> and then he do finally come back. He's like, yeah, I just wanted to apologize. We're good, right? We're, 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 we're good. That's what he kept saying. Scared for his fucking life. So yeah, I mean you can handle it like that, but when you big name, like you gotta think what you gotta lose. Shannon Shaw got a fucking podcast, like of course. Now we for got her, a whole family. Yeah, like yeah. for us, being a life I, like, outside. Even, of- if I went out here and somebody commented some crazy shit, John, and I just beat beat John ass. Well, that's gonna get us more views because they're gonna be like, <laughs> well, we was famous all, already. Like yeah. Like if Pat would have went down to Jackson and got shot or shot at somebody, it would have been or shot at somebody, it would have been like negative because he a big name. But if we go to Jackson and I shoot at somebody, hey, let's watch his show, man. He got something intriguing to say, bro. Like <laughs> this podcast is shooting at people. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, so that, that's that's what it is. I think they just know they can get away with that shit. Like no reason. It's sad. It, it's, it's crazy, sad. especially for somebody to claim to be a fucking friend, like. Bingo. That's that's probably the worst part. Like Shannon told him, oh, he good at the barbecue. Uh he done talk praises when Ernestine was sick. He was, you know, so that's 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 crazy to disrespect. 
a Hall of Famer, like at one point or still in the discussion that might be the best tight end to ever play the game. Like, come on, bro. That's yeah. Like, all right, I get it. I we not silly. We know Tom Brady best quarterback ever played the game, but Shannon's still in the Hall of Fame. Bro. You're like, still, yeah, you're like every day, dude. You talk, and to they're them. like a brotherhood. Yeah, like they're all best friends. Like, you know, it, and that's that's what know. that's what was crazy. It ain't like they in the Hall of Fame. Like, hey, you know, uh, you ain't really one of us. <laughs> no, it's not like that, bro. Same way with the Heisman, like. Them old ass dudes yeah. come together, make them fucking commercials every year. Yeah, I don't know. it's a it's a brotherhood for real. What's up, Aaron? It's a brotherhood for real. So I just uh, I and the shit that pissed me off the most, and now I'm gonna let it go, is Skip has not publicly, privately, or got leaked apologizing like the same dumb shit you did on the show. You 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 need to apologize on the show. He ain't did that. Because it doesn't even have to be like a like a crazy sincere thing. It could just be like, "Hey, we got a little out of hand in a debate. I didn't mean to like say that you're shitty. My bad." Like, well, sorry, I offended yeah. you. Can we can we go back to being? What well, we Skip's were. a terrible human. He thinks he should probably just went along with all these other terrible takes he's had, where people blew up on him. But this one's way worse than anything else. But he's this just one's so like used real to being life. hated. Yeah, he's just a I rat. Know, bro. Maybe he's soft. I don't know. He been, should have beat him been up. Been talking crazy about LeBron for twenty straight years, and LeBron ain't responding once. So it's something. Well, like, Richard Sherman had the best thing I've ever seen. I'm better than life at you, or like whatever the fuck he said. Yeah. But, Man, that's probably facts. That should have me die. But uh, we just want to take this time out, Ben. This will be our last episode of the year. Um. We just want to take the time out to think. We went, we started this year at like 30 some subscribers and we skyrocketed from that. Uh, we got a little bit more technical this year. Uh, got a better setup since me and Billy, not in the same city, added two cucks. It's a, uh, we just, you know, uh, we got real better. Um, so thank you to the fans that was there when we first started this shit. Uh, like back in Billy's garage. In the cold, um, I'm weird. Uh, this probably be our last episode of this season. We're gonna come out, man, next year swinging. We got a lot of changes we making. Uh, like I said, we made we added uh, Matt and Aaron to the show permanently. I know they don't never be here, but we added them to the show. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, because we got Matt's a businessman uh, going from Vegas to Michigan. Like like that uh yeah but we um next year we coming out swinging stay tuned uh we in the works for a lot of giveaway prizes merch all that shit um so like i said man the more support y'all give us uh the better we'll get retweet it repost it click on it watch it for three seconds hey do do whatever you could do for us uh we hope the holidays was good for y'all um Hope y'all coming to the new year, uh, having a better year than you did last year. You know, but uh, Billy, what you got? You got some? So I just want to say, Tony, you took care of the fans. Everything you said, ditto. Um, I just want to thank y'all three because this has been fun, man. This is literally the most fun I have all week. So it's just really cool. I appreciate y'all being on. I know like we wake up early and fucking don't get a lot of off time. So the fact that y'all are able to spend an hour and a half ish with us all the time is pretty cool to me. So I just want to appreciate y'all. No, oh, thank you, Bill. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, that's going to be uh, it for y'all got anything to say, Matt, Aaron. All I got to say is go blue, baby. <laughs> go bucks. Who day, baby. Let's go. Uh, George is gonna win, and I'm gonna win a hundred dollars from these guys. So. <laughs> hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bet nothing. Yes, you did. It was twenty, yes, it was 20 a team. It was, it was twenty a team, was, man. Yes, you did. You'd win sixty. You'd win sixty. Yeah, yeah. sixty. My bad. Yeah. 
Hey, okay. hey. I didn't know that, but let's run it. <laughs> you were hey, right. hey, somebody go in our messages and find this shit so we can let Aaron know. I'm with it. I, that's what you said. We talk so much, dude. That's going to be a lot of scrolling up. Like, that is. Yeah. Like... I got it. I'll do it in here in two seconds. Hell yeah, Matt. He's All just right, gonna search it. <laughs> All right, man. It's been Brie Shots with Billy, Antonio, Matt, and Buckeye. We out of here. Thanks, y'all.